Howdy folks, this is Joe, a.k.a. Sir Stabbington! Are you ready for some more Carto? Carto. Time to go to the lava zone. Heck yeah! Uh, the elders whispered of the secret tunnels beneath the haven. Though mind, you, my, though mind, you might not find your way back once you enter. That's fine. Some stairs leading down to the darkness. Check it out. Yeah! 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, stop. Look at all these. I'm just gonna achieve behind me. Whoa, that's my boat. It's Shania, Sh Shiannon's boat. Nearby, that was that was a while ago. And it's so birdy in here. Uh, Mountainy in here? Heck, <sighs> there's the, there's the, what should we call it? The story chalet. Let's see what the story chalets have to say. Story chalet. Hey, I'm back. What up? Oh, I don't. I don't remember what she. It was. Uh, she was like a teen, right? California teen. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. Carta. Oh, hugs. Hugs from a friend. Man. Remember those days? I don't. I was so worried when you didn't show up at a meeting spot. It sounds like you've been busy. Story terror teller. T story tender. Tender? Chicken tender. Told me you dropped by here on your way to the desert. Did you find any clues about your granny there? No. No, I'm sorry. They must. It's. It's just a matter of time. I bet she's looking just as hard as for you. Uh, what? Uh, uh, what does this guy sound like? Ah, uh, so you felt felt the ground shaking too? Huh? No, he's he's like he's more like he's more like um, what's his name? Metal Gear guy. Call it Snake. Uh, I thought you were just uh, my. I thought it was just my lunch disagreeing with me until some books fell off the shelf. Mm. Metal Gear? The volcano must be acting up again. The eruptions are quite a sight but to behold. The sky darkens with thick black smoke and orange embers drift through it like snowflakes. Hmm, that smoke might make the sky harder for your granny to navigate, Carta. I wonder if he can water somehow. I bet it's worth a try! <laughs> Great, I'll get better if we can find some clues in the volcano wing. I'll meet you there. Mmm, such impatience. I'm glad to say, I'm sad to say, I'm glad to say, I'm sad to say, the volcano wing has been missing for some time. The chalet can be a bit, a bit unpredictable. Sometimes the rooms are where you'd expect, and sometimes they go missing. If only I could visit the top floor again someday. Huh? Ah, please ignore me. Just, just the wistful learn yearnings of a young old. <laughs> I can't speak today, old man. Anyways, I'll be off to. Uh, I can't be of much help in locating the volcano wing, but I can usually find that it's. Uh, I'm looking for it for if I read enough books. No better place to start. Let's start. The little cartographer had come up dry, looking for her granny in the desert. Okay. She had another burning issues to deal with. How could she warn her granny about the volcano that was about to erupt? Before that, she had to figure out how to get there. Dot dot dot. Read it again. Nah. Entrance, first floor. Perhaps one of our books could help you locate our missing volcano wing. Inky beige liquid, is that? Ink? Beige? Ink? What kind of ink is beige? I'm behind your counter. Oh, jeez. Or of the store at the story chalet. That chalet is cursed, I tell you. While exploring its labyrinth and hall, I came across a floor so I'm bearing no number, but, but an ominous question mark instead. Hmm. I ran into the stairwell in, the, in a panic, when I discovered the floors above and below were equally marked. I saw rooms I'd never seen before, uh, before on those unknown floors and fled in terror from the shock. I will never return to that unholy place. Oh! That mean, hmm? Looked 
lights open on the desk. Nearby, a typewriter attached steadily on his own. So spooky! Spooky! Switching the sands. Okay. Water seekers. Yeah. We, I talked to him. I revered. Survival of the people. Resolute group. Water sources. Journeying home. Their senses were highly attuned to the desert. Driving around and aid in their search. Yep, 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 yep. Camels and all. Are you done? You, are you there? The gathering of the magic boots. I got that already. I got that already. Let's, uh... Okay. The, okay, so I gotta get... Hmm. I gotta get... Somewhere. Can I go down here? This is the cactus room. Question mark floor! <gasps> Here's the question mark floor. Anybody home? Another question mark floor. But I can go up, can I? Whoop. Oh! I gotta go up. Gotta go up to go down. Whoopsies! Whoops. What? How do I go up now? I wanna go up from here! Let me go up! Oh, this is down. Can't go down from here. Question mark floor. Back down here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. What's going on? Whoa, where am I? <laughs> I'm in the darkness! But I can go d down back to... Man, the story chalet is weird. Story chalet. But I can, I can still go down. Cross. Basement two. But I want to go all the way to the top. What if I go all the way to the top? Like right here. Nope. This is basement two. Down further? Second floor. Second floor? Now what if I go up again? I would turn back into basement two. Basement one. Okay. First floor. Whoops. 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 First floor. Entrance. Okay. Now can I go back up? Back up. Um. Okay, up. Up again. Now up again. Second floor. No. Because that's basement. Okay, up again. Where is this? Third floor. Can I go across? Click. Where are the magic boots? Question mark floor. Okay, I'm on the question mark floor. What does that get me, though? I gotta read this again. Horror story. Read it again, yes. Uh, cursed. A floor sign bearing no number. Ominous question mark. I got that. Randos that were in a panic when it was before the blah 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 were equally unmarked. Equally unmarked, okay. I saw rooms I've never seen before on these unknown floors and fled in terror from the shock. Okay. Never uh yeah, no. Okay, I got that. I've got question marks. Got question marks. These this Can I go up again now? Is this another question mark floor? It's a question mark floor. It tells you. Yes. More question marks. Now can I go up? I want to go up. And more question marks? That's more question marks. Nope! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on question mark floor. How far can I go up? Another question mark. Okay. Oh, I can't... Can't go back up anymore here. 
Oh, I don't know anymore. Okay. I should more floor. But I can go back up. How far up can you go? Because I can, I can keep going, like, up this way. And this story chalet. I don't know what's going on anymore. But I can go down? Here? Yes, I can go down. Where's this now? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't know what's going on anymore. I've searched all the sands. Can I go back down to the main floor, please? My head is hurting. Oh, no! Oh, no! How do I do this? Okay, go up to the first floor? Okay, I'm on the first floor. But I can go down to the basement here now. Basement one. No, I don't know anymore. Oh, I don't know anymore. Okay. Basement one, still. More basement one. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Can I just leave? I'm out. Bye! See ya! How did... Where did my friend go? Where's my friend? Second floor. Okay. I can go up again, right? To the third floor, and then... Here, to the... Why? Okay, I can, I can go here to here to here to here to here to here. Okay, I can go up here. Okay. Third floor. But what if I go over to the fourth... This place. Third floor. And now up again to the fourth floor? Or question mark floor. Okay. One question mark. Hmm. Okay. Let's read this again. Yes. Okay. Chalet. First. Floor signs bearing no number. Question mark. Stair random stairwell. Floors above and below were equally unmarked. Huh. Land in terror. Okay. I don't have any other pages. Above and below. Okay, so I can... Oops. Go down now. Question mark floor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. These are fine floors. I don't know what's so spooky about this, but... did it. That one took a lot longer than I thought it would do. Sorry about the- Whoa! Oh, I think I found something. What did you find? I just had about give it up on the finding the volcano wing when I appeared out of nowhere. It's such a strange building. Anyways, I think I found uh, something helpful in this book. Have a look. Take a look. It's in a book. Read it right back. The volcano is a popular tourist destination due to its temperature, weather, and a famous world of famous spas. Famous world famous. Travelers can take the long way up, ascending its face over the course of several days. Or hope to catch a ride on a friendly member of its thriving mountain goat population. Though the fastest, most reliable paths of the volcano lie deep within the forest for those who can find them. Ooh, sounds like you can get to the volcano through the forest! <laughs> Slide into it. If there's a path, I know you'll find it. No one is better at finding their way through the world. <laughs> oh, you'd like me to go with it? I can't. I've got to not do that. Hmm, I wonder what uh, that I'd just slow you down. I'd hate to split up again, but you find your way around so quickly that th and time may be of the essence. So hurry along without me, and I'll in the meantime, I'll do some research for us here. Okay. 
volcano floor. Ooh, the volcano calendar. Volcanologists are divided on the accuracy and scientific basis of the volcano calendar. Proponents of the calendar claim that it has been an invaluable planning resource for countless generations, while detractors miss dismiss it as a bunch of meaningless nonsense carved into on a wall by some vagabond. In any case, residents of the volcano always seem to avoid disaster somehow, whether or not they're expecting it. Hmm, that seems handy. Truth or hot air? Hara, the Sterly Chalet! Let's read this. Lempa, the 255th, 255th Watcher. Bearing an earthworm companion and a great big bushy beard, Lempa the mesh Messenger, mesh Lamper the Messenger, the, was chosen as the 255th Watcher. Lempa and his earthworm patrolled the Wildwood for decades, steadfast friends and protectors of the mother. Sadly, an errant sparrow snatched the earthworm from his shoulder, leaving him alone with the trees for the remainder of his watch. That's sad. Though to this day, the countless progeny of Lempa's earthworm friend crawl beneath our feet, hungry for dirt, ready for help. Aw, oh, root roots. Mother's roots stretched across the forest as she grew and far beyond. They grew along hidden paths, snaking their way to distant lands across the world. These paths were subtle and obscure, to those to all but the most intrepid explorers. Oh no, I got a like Oh, you know, gotta read. Let's see sleep sometimes. Only the true trees knew how to access them. And they didn't speak much. Dot dot dot. Chirp! Many before, many years before Chirp became the 256th Watcher, Chirp was a small, beardless Chirp. Chirp did not make friends easily, and would spend many afternoons exploring the woods by Chirp's self. One flightful afternoon, Chirp followed a sad, hooting noise, and found an owlet stuck in an animal trap. Chirp freed the owlet and disassembled the trap, turning it into a stretcher to carry the owlet in, in it until it healed. Chirp and Chirp's owl companion were never apart after that day, and now tend the mother together. Ah, I helped that! Good old Chirp! Okay, now I gotta get back down to the main floor. And out! To the story chalet! Mm, did you find the volcano wing? I've It's got all the hottest items in the chalet. Zing! The little cartographer knew where to go next. Yes! She'd find her way to the volcano through a path hidden somewhere in the forest. She bid her friend farewell once more. Goodbye once more. Goodbye and farewell. And headed back towards the wild wood. Nothing has, was going to keep her from her granny. And that will happen next episode of the Stepping to the Shell. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Take it easy.